All right, guys, here we go once again. This time it's uh, Johnny Padres that we're uh, facing. Padres, of course, famous for that uh, 1955 World Series and for the uh, uh, changeup that he was uh, pitching, which um, he became famous for um, uh, as a uh, pitching instructor later on. Not much of a crowd here in Los Angeles, kind of wondering what's happened. And uh, there's a ball low to uh, Lenny Dykstra, 1-0. and And there's a ball inside, 2-0 the count. It'll be Padres against Di- uh, Darling here. There's a strike to Lenny, 2-1. and one. This is hit over to the left side. It's an easy play there for Tommy Davis. Throws to first, one away. That brings up uh, Danny Heap. Heap hit, uh, hitting in uh, left field takes a strike uh, because uh, Mookie Wilson a little bit tired. And he takes a ball. No, he went. That was a strike, 0-2. Oh, and two. and uh, there's a swing and a miss. Down he goes. Um, I don't pay too much attention as to whether uh, Wilson would have actually been tired or not. I just do what the game tells me. Oh, there's the strikeout, two away, and here comes Keith Hernandez, and he hits a foul ball to the right side, 0-1. Oh, there's a little ball inside, 1-1 one one to Keith. And that's blasted to center, but it's going to hold up. It'll be uh, Willie Davis grabbing that for the out, and we go to the bottom of the first inning, no score. Ron Darling up there, uh, 4-0, 3.22 ERA. It's a ground ball uh, by uh, Mari Wills over to Keith Hernandez, who feels it goes to the bag, one away. Here comes Willie Davis. Ball low, 1-0. Swing and a miss, it's 1-1. Uh, one one. So the Dodgers, clearly the best team in baseball, so that's a way 2-1. Swing and a miss, it's 2-2. Uh, two two. We'll see if there is a pennant race this season or not. It sort of depends upon uh, how we play and the Giants play. It's a ground ball to the right side again. Hernandez fields this one. This time Darling goes and covers the bag. Keith to Ron, two away. Here's Tommy Davis. A little uh, fly ball, or line drive, I should say, over to a right field. No, fly ball, and uh, Strawberry has that one easily. We go to the top of the uh, second inning, and this will be Daryl Strawberry uh, leading this off. We'll see what Daryl can do. Hitting 307, he takes a strike, 0 and 1. There was a ball, one and one to count. That was up and uh, in on the hands, and he fouled that one off just barely. It's uh, one and two. Let's hit over to left field. Is it going to fall? No, it holds up, and uh, it's going to be caught by Davis. Two away. Here's uh, Tim Tuffle. There's a ball low, one and zero oh to Tim. That's yeah, a strike in the outside corner. It's one and one. A little ground ball over to the right side. It's easily played by Fairley. Flips it over to Padres for the out. Two away, and here's Howard Johnson. So Johnson playing here for Ray Knight, who's um, uh, kind of cold. He takes the ball high. And there you go. Blasted to left center field. How about that? So Howard Johnson gets a hold of one. Mets go out in front one nothing. Is this the first lead we've had against the Dodgers in this series? It might be. Howard Johnson really struggling at the plate, but not that time. And that uh, brings up Kevin Mitchell. We put Mitchell in because uh, Santana played so poorly in that last game. There's a ball outside, 1-0 to Kevin. And that's inside, 2-0. Maybe been a little bit too much partying on the plane. Ground ball over to uh, Short, and uh, the throw from Willis to first is in time. We go to the bottom of the second inning. Here's Frank Howard. There's a fork ball outside by Darling, 1-0. And there's a fastball away, 2-0 the count. There's a strike, 2-1. That curve is in there for a straight nice-looking curve, 2-2. Two and two. Well, That's wrapped up the middle for a base hit. So uh, that curve looked good twice, and then they threw him a changeup, and uh, you have to go ask Johnny Padres about how to throw that changeup. We go into double play depth. Here's Duke Snyder. High and tight for a ball. 1-0 to Duke. And that's blasted to center. Go back Lenny. And uh, he makes an amazing catch. A leaping catch on that one. Uh, beautiful play for the first out. Let's go take another look at that one. Uh, may not have been quite as good as they say. They give that three stars. But uh, any sort of leaping catch like that is pretty good in my book. One away and that'll bring up Ron Fairley. We go to double play depth here. There's a ball outside, 1-0. Oh. That's away again, 2-0. Oh. Missed again, 3-0. and oh. Darling uh, misses again, so there's a walk. Four straight pitches. They'll bring up Jim Gilliam. So Darling has had that base on balls, but we've had three starters in a row with this problem. There's a ball to Gilliam, and that one is low, 2-0. Oh. 
Ground ball, that's going to be to third base. Johnson throws over to Tuffle on to Hernandez, and it's a double play. We go to the top of the third, so the Dodgers threaten, but nothing happens. And uh, here comes Ed Hearn. Gary Carter, as uh, tired, has the day off. It's been a rough road trip as uh, Hearn takes the ball outside. It's been rough because we've had a lot of games in a row without a lot of time off. That might be part of the reason why these players aren't playing so well. 3-0 now the count. Hearn will take this. You think this part is bad, and there's a strike three and one. We have a lot of double headers. This is what happens, and there's a walk as that's low. This is what happens when you uh, accidentally use the as-played schedule instead of the as-scheduled schedule. Now, if you're smart, you know that the Mets in 62 only played 160 games. I added on two more um, to make sure it was 162 after I re realized my mistake. There's a strike to Darling 0-1, and, so, and the ball low 1-1. One one. So we'll have two extra double headers. Foul the way it's 1-2. and two. Swing and a miss, two away. One away, I'm sorry. Here's Lenny Dykstra. There's a strike. Second strikeout, by the way, for Padres. It's a ball high. One and one on Lenny. Hit to left. Not quite deep enough, and Snyder's got that for the out. Two away. That brings up Danny Heap. Heap hits this one over to the left side, but foul. Oh and one. Heap hitting 326. Ball inside, one and one. Hasn't been hitting as much as he probably should. Little ground ball over to third, and uh, that's a good base hit by Heap. Uh, there was nothing that Davis could do with that one. He doesn't even make the throw, and that brings up Keith Hernandez. Two away, but the Mets are threatening. And that's a wild pitch. There's this weird thing that happens with the uh, game that will tell you that it's a wild pitch. The way that the catcher like sort of comes out of the crouch before the ball even gets there. Um, it's not a great animation as the uh, runners move up. So 1-0 the count on Hernandez, and there's a strike at the knees. 1-1. That's low, 2-1. and one. Foul the way, it's 2-2. Two and two. Of course, you can nickpick here and, here and there, but uh, you have to realize that none of the other baseball sims look anything like this. 2-2. Two and two. That's an easy ground ball. Grounded over to uh, the uh, second baseman, Gilliam, who throws to first, and we go to the bottom of the third. Doug Camilli up here for the Dodgers, and he takes the ball low, 1-0. There's a swing and a miss, one and one. So I'm guessing that Rose, Roseboro uh, has the day off. Maybe it was after that triple. One one pitch is a uh, flight out to center. Dykstra's got that for the out, one away. Here's Johnny Padres, the pitcher. Fists this one over to right, and uh, Daryl's got that, two gone. Mari Wills comes up now, two away, bottom of the third. There's a ball. Now that was low and away, so a little optical illusion, and that misses inside, two and oh. Foul the way, it's uh, two and one. There's a ground ball to first. Hernandez goes to the bag. We go to the top of the fourth. one nothing Mets. Daryl Strawberry takes the ball inside. 1-0. And that's a strike on the corner. 1-1. One one. Low. 2-1. and one. Popped up, and uh, it's going to be the shortstop who grabs this. Mari Wills. One away. Tim Tuffle now the batter. Fouls away. The first pitch. 0-1. Swing and a miss, it's 0-2. Right. Down he goes. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Two away is Howard Johnson. Johnson had that solo home run. Fouls a pitch away, 0-1. He's the only reason we have a run. He's been the only real offensive player we've had that's been consistent here this whole uh, series. That's a ground ball to Gillian who throws the first, and we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Here is Willie Davis. And uh, that's a strike off speed pitch in the zone. 0-1. Foul the way it's 0-2. Ooh, and that slider just misses. 1-2 and two the count. And that's inside for ball two. That was on the corner. And there is a slider for strike three, so he gets him. That slider was outside, actually, but I think that was a makeup call. One away is Tommy Davis, and uh, he takes a strike 0-1. Ball one. 1-1 one the count. There's another strike. Interesting call. One and two. Strike three is called, and that's uh, that's Darling hitting those corners. His second strikeout, two away. Here's Ryan Howard, who takes the ball away. One and oh. Swing and a miss. It's one and one. Swing and a miss again. One and two. That slider is not easy to catch up with. That was a slider again, almost the same place, and uh, that was fouled away. you got to think fastball here. I'm sorry, it's a fork ball. Low and inside, it was a fastball, two and two. See, I can do it. Strike three. 
And there's strike three right down the heart of the play. What a fastball there by uh, Darling. And uh, it was 94. We go to the top of the fifth inning. Still one nothing met. Here is uh, Kevin Mitchell. Mitchell, uh, I think, over one today. It takes a strike. Yeah, he's 0 for 1, hitting 0 42. So uh, not a surprise if he's not getting base hits. He does have a home run. That was his only hit. 0 and 2 now to Kevin. The ball low, 1 and 2. Outside, 2 and 2. He's swinging a miss. Looked pretty bad on that one. Fourth strikeout for Padres, and that was a good curve. One away. Here's uh, Ed Hearn, who takes a strike. Hearn is hitting 143. He's hitting better than Mitchell. One and one the count. There's a strike. It's one and two. Strike three. Strike three called on the outer half. Two gone, and that'll bring up Ron Darling. So two away at top of the fifth. There's a ball inside to the pitcher. Swing and miss. One and one. That's it over to left, and that'll hold up for Snyder. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Still one nothing Mets. Here comes Snyder, who takes the ball low. One and zero. It's a ground ball foul. It's a one and one. Low two and one. The ball outside three and one. The count. Swing and a miss. It's a full count now, and uh, Darling hasn't hit the strike zone at all this at bat. His little ground ball over to second. Tuffle throws to first. One away. Here's Ron Fairley. It's a ball low. One and zero to Fairley. And misses inside. Two and zero to count. Swing and a miss. It's two and one. Ground to first. Hernandez will go to the bag himself. Two away. And here comes Jim Gilliam. There's a strike to Jim. Zero and one. That's a ball. One and one to count. Round ball again to Tuffle, who throws to first, and so uh, that does it. We go to the top of the sixth, still 1 0 Mets. Up comes Lenny Dykstra, he's 0 for 2, and he takes the ball inside, 1 0. Fouled away, it's uh, 1 1 now on Lenny. That's ball 2, 2 and 1 the count. Round ball left side, good play there by uh, Davis, throws to first, 1 away. Here comes Danny Heap. Keep uh, one for two today. Had that single in the third inning. This is fouled away again. So he's fouled two pitches off here. It's 0-2. Fouled away again. Again, left side. But we had fastballs and fastballs from Koufax and Drysdale. And now we get all the uh, junk from Padres. One and two the count. Inside, two and two. And it's fouled to the right side. Still one, two and two, sorry. It's blasted to center. Great play out there by uh, Willie Davis to uh, rob him of an extra base hit. Uh, two away now, and here comes Keith Hernandez. Good piece of hitting, though, by uh, Heap. That's positive. There's a ball outside to Keith. And he went that time. That's a strike. One and one. I think it was a strike anyway. There's a ball high. Two and one. Hit over to left field. That's going to be foul. Two and two. Swinging and a miss. Down he goes. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning, and that was the fastball. Doug Camilli here for the Dodgers takes the ball low and inside. There's a strike. One and one the count. Swing and a miss. It is one and two. There's a ball low. Two and two the count. Swing and a miss. Down he goes. One away. That'll bring up Johnny Padres. There's a curve that misses the Padres. Uh, one and zero. Oh. Darling has struck out four, by the way, and that's high and tight. Two and zero. Oh. Three and zero. Oh. We're having a hard time pitching to pitchers. There's a strike. <laughs> Three and one. Fouled away. So it's a full count. Ground ball, third base, and it's going to be Johnson throwing to first. Two away, and here comes Mari Wills. And he hits a ground ball over to short. It's uh, Mitchell throwing to first, and uh, we go to the top of the seventh inning. Still one nothing Mets. Here comes Darrell. Blasted to left. Go, baby, go. Three hundred ninety-six feet there for Darrell Strawberry. That makes it two nothing Mets. That's number nine this season for Strawberry, so he's up there with Gary Carter. 
And uh, that uh, might be the insurance run we need. We'll see. Here comes Tim Tuffle. Only the third hit for the Mets today. The ball inside to Tim, 1-0. That's hit over to center. That's dropping, dropping, dropping. But uh, Tommy or Willie Davis is there. Sorry, went away. Here comes Howard Johnson. Ball inside. One, or strike, I'm sorry. 1-0-1. And, oh and, and there's another strike, 0-2. Oh that first pitch was way low and inside. Swing and miss for strike three. Padres has struck out seven, and uh, there's not much you can do when he's getting calls like that. There's the ball outside. 1-0 and oh now to uh, Kevin Mitchell. Swing and a miss at one high. 1-1. One and one. That's fouled away. 1-2 and two the count. Outside. 2-2. Two and two. Fouled away again. 2-2 two and two it remains. And that's on the outside corner for a strikeout. I think that's the eighth strikeout now for Padres. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning. It'll be Willie Davis to lead this off. Hernandez was hot. Now he's pulled. Swing and a miss by uh, Davis. It's 0-1. We don't have anyone to play first at the moment because, what was the name, Coco is not on the club anymore. Ground ball to Hernandez. Goes to the bag himself. One away. Here's Tommy Davis. It, it might uh, hurt a little bit, but you got to wonder if uh, we can't get Hernandez's dad to call him on the phone. Davis, it's a yeah, comebacker over to the pitcher, and uh, there was no real play on that one. He um, outruns that one easily, and we will go to double play depth, but we're not going to have much of a chance here. He's a throwback to first, and uh, it's not in time. There's a ball inside the Howard. 1 0. Hit over to left field. That should be easy for Heap. He has it for the cat for the out, two away, and that brings up Duke Snyder. Grounded foul, 0 and 1. There's a strike, it's 0 and 2. Inside ball, 1 and 2. Swing and ooh, just fouled that one back, remains 1 and 2. Ground ball to first, Hernandez fields it, goes to the back himself, and so we go to the top of the eighth. We survive that scare, and uh, here comes Ed Hearn. Hearn's 0 for 1 and uh, takes a strike, 0 and 1. Not known for his bat. There's a ball high, one and one. This is where they say uh, good field, no hit. Swing and a miss is one and two. There's a ball inside, two and two the count. Swing and a miss, down he goes. So another strikeout. Padres has struck out nine. Here comes Darling, 0 for two. Fouls one away, 0 and one. Foul the way again, 0 and two the count. That's low, one and two. Swing and a miss. Down he goes. That's 10. Two away. Here comes Lenny. Takes the ball low. And that's a little uh, poke over to the left side foul. 0 oh, and 2. Dykstra's 0 for 3, though. Ball outside. 2 and 1. I'm sorry. Swing and a miss. It's 2 and 2. I'm losing the count here. Hit to the left side again, but foul. It's a ball outside. Full count now on Lenny. And that's a walk. Boy, I thought for sure that was going to be strike three. Dykstra taking a pitch that you really can't take. And uh, that one was, I guess, a little bit down and in. Good eye by Lenny. I wouldn't have caught that one. And uh, up comes Heap. And there's a ball inside. 1-0 oh the count. And uh, we try to steal with Dykstra, but he's caught. And uh, that'll do that. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Here comes Ron Fairley here for the Dodgers. Still 2-0, and there's a ball outside, 1-0. Oh. Outside again, 2-0. Oh. That's low, 3-0 and, uh, and oh the count. And no swing on that one. That was ball four. That was way outside, and i got to worry a little bit about Darling. That didn't look so good. Up comes uh, Jim Gilliam, takes a ball high and inside. Another ball low, 2-0. Oh. Fouled away, 2-0. All the way again, it's two and two, so Darling's come back. That's ball three away. I guess that was away. Full ground ball over to Hernandez. He uh, flips over to uh, Darling, who was late covering, and so he'll be safe at first. That brings up Doug uh, Caminiti. You gotta wonder why uh, Hernandez didn't go to second with that one. Turner's on at first and second, and there's a strike in the outside corner, 0 and 1. And there's a ball outside, 1 and 1 to count. That's high, it's 2 and 1. Hit up to center. That's going to hold up there for Dykstra. It makes the catch for the out. Goes over to third just in case, but uh, the runner's not going anywhere. Fairly stays at second. So uh, one out. Here's Johnny Roseboro. 
And uh, we'll see if we can get the uh, double play. Roseboro's uh, pinch hitting here for the pitcher. Had a triple the last game. And uh, there's a ground ball to Hernandez who goes to second this time around. And they get one. That's it. So the runner's on at first and third now for uh, Mari Wills. Bottom of the eighth. Tight uh, situation. And there's a change of low to Wills. 1-0. And, oh. and there is a strike. 1-1. One and one. That's a ball. 2-1. and one. As low and inside. 3-1. and one, Trying to pitch low to him. And so we lose him, and uh, that's Dykstra's third walk, second of the inning. That brings up Willie Davis. Davis is a ground ball over to Hernandez, and uh, Darling gets to first on time that time, and we go to the top of the ninth. So the Dodgers get nothing out of that situation. And uh, here comes Danny Heap for the Mets. Let's see if we can get another run across. There's a low sinker to Heap. It's 1-0. and And there's a strike. We had a, a, a relief pitcher, by the way. Ron Peronoski comes back on for the Dodgers. Almost missed that. In for Padres. Padres pitched well. It's 1-2 and two now on Heap. He pitched well, but uh, he's down. 2-2 two and two now the count. That's high. Full count now on Heap. Foul the way. It's going to work, Ron. A little ground ball over to uh, the left side. It's uh, fielded well by Wills, who throws the first one away. Here comes Hernandez, who's been cold lately. There's a strike, and there is a little cold symbol by his name on the left side of the screen. Foul the way, it's 0-2. Yeah, he's, he definitely has been cold. He was hot for a while. That's low. I'm sorry, that is called strike three. That was, I guess, got enough of the zone. So uh, Dykstra, or Hernandez strikes out looking, and uh, there's two away. Here comes Strawberry. Daryl Strawberry hit his ninth home run earlier today. And he takes the ball inside, 1-0. Blasted down the left field line, but foul. One and one. Blasted again to left, and that's a base hit. Uh, Snyder gets to it in time. That'll be a single though for Strawberry, and uh, he winds up two for four today. That'll bring up Tim Tuffle. Here's a ball outside. Want to know the count? Throw to first. Not catching him. Another throw to first. And that misses inside, so it's 2 0. 3 0 now, and Tim will take this. There's the strike, 3 1. Fouled away, so it's a full count now. And that's ball four, so Paranowski uh, surrenders a walk, and that'll bring up Howard Johnson. Johnson today uh, hitting uh, fairly well, did, did get a home run today. The Mets with two home runs here at Dodger Stadium, that's a little rare treat. We'll keep uh, Howard in here against the uh, righty, and he takes the ball low, 1-0. and There's a strike. It's 1-1. One one. Let's hit over to right. It, will it drop? Yes, it will, because it's asking me to send Strawberry around. And the throw beat him, but it gets by the catcher, and uh, that allows the runners to move up. So uh, Strawberry does score a run. There's the other insurance run. Uh, Johnson's single uh, scores one, and he uh, moves to second on that bad throw. And uh, that'll bring up uh, Kevin Mitchell. And it looked like Doug Cam Camilli uh, could have caught that, but then he uh, didn't manage to get in the right position for it. Always hard to tell here with uh, the uh, uh, way that the game's presented here by OTP. So runners on at second and third now, 3 nothing ball game. Mitchell fouls one away, it's 0-1. And he blasts this over to left, but that's gonna be foul. Just barely, 0-2. And there's a fastball though, 1-2 the count. Swing and a miss, and down he goes. But the Mets get one more, and it's 3-0 New York, and we go to the bottom of the ninth. Tommy Davis to lead this off. Darling has thrown 100 pitches. Fouled over to the right side, 0-1. There's a little ground ball back to Darling. He throws the first four of the out, one away. Frank Howard up there now. Ground ball to second. Tim Tuffle throws the first, two gone, and here comes Duke Snyder. Ball low to Duke. Swing and a miss. It's one and one. Swing and a miss again. One and two. That's ball two. I guess that was a little high. Hard to tell from here. Fouled away. Still two and two. Low and inside. Full count. Swing and a miss, and down he goes. Three hitter for Ron Darling. And so the Mets finally win another game. I was about to hang my head in disgust. This means that we are going to be six and a half behind the Dodgers going forward. We have a series now against San Francisco coming up. 
it's going to be a long and hard and arduous road forward, but we might be able to do it. Let's go out there and climb that mountain is what I think. Mets win this one 3 nothing. Excellent pitching performance by uh, Ron Darling, and uh, that's uh, what we like to see. So 3 nothing. the substitutes um, come through, and uh, we have only five hits but two home runs, and we make it work. Talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.